extraocular muscles made easy find how now basics of optometry is at your fingertips like and subscribe the channel to hello students today we will learn about the action of extraocular muscles and also what is a synergist agonist and an antagonist so all of you know there are six extraocular muscles the medial rectus lateral rectus inferior rectus superior rectus inferior oblique and superior oblique all of you know that and there are nine cardinal points of gaze what are those gaze positions your straight gaze your right gaze your left gaze your up gaze your down gaze your dextro elevation dextro depression levo elevation and levo depression so these are the nine cardinal points of gazes so to understand which muscle acts in this cardinal points of gaze we first need to know the location of the muscles so your superior rectus is here your inferior rectus is here your medial rectus is here your lateral rectus is here right now your inferior oblique is here and your superior oblique is here so there are six extraocular muscles each or in each of your eyes so which act together right to perform any action an agonist is a muscle which actually does one what an antagonist is a muscle which opposes the agonist a synergist is the muscle okay a synergist is a muscle which a pair of, uh, is a muscle which is helping the agonist to work so in binocular movements the concept of contralateral synergist is there that is a yoke muscle pair that means one pair of muscle from each eye which act together okay act hand in hand together to perform a job done suppose i'm looking at my right gaze okay so my right lateral rectus is working and my left medial rectus is working so these two muscle act together to do the job so when i'm looking at the right side my eyeballs this eye gets adapted and this eye gets abducted so by herring's law of equal innervation okay equal uh, and simultaneous innervation flows to the yolk muscle pair so yolk muscles are nothing but the contralateral synergist contralateral means different eyes synergist muscles of the different eye and there is another law sherrington's law of reciprocal innervation so that happens that sherrington's law actually work for your monocular eye movement or duction movements okay so sherrington's law basically states that when an agonist is working innervation from the brain will flow to that agonist but the antagonist will get less innervation from the brain but in herring's law what is happening herring's law both the synergist muscle contralateral synergist muscle or yolk muscles are getting the equal and simultaneous innervation to work together perfectly your medial rectus does adduction your lateral rectus does abduction your superior rectus does elevation in torsion and adduction your inferior rectus does depression extorsion and adduction your superior oblique does in torsion depression and abduction and your inferior oblique does extorsion elevation and abduction so all rectus muscles are adductors these you have to remember all rectus muscles are adductors and all oblique muscles are abductors right now all of us know the action of the so uh, extraocular muscles right so we are we know about the rectus muscles there is nothing taboo in the work of a rectus muscles we know very well but how the oblique muscles work that we have to know the the main thing is lies in the work of oblique muscles right so how do the oblique muscles work that we are going to discuss so i'll just uh, this oblique muscles basically are the cyclovertical muscles so cyclovertical muscles are of uh, two types elevators and depressors so elevators means the muscles which are elevating your eye 
okay that is the superior rectus your superior rectus and inferior oblique depressors means the muscles which are depressing the eye that is the inferior rectus and your superior oblique so total there are eight cyclovertical muscles now let me talk about the action of the yoke muscles so for yoke muscles when you are looking at the right case this right lateral rectus and left medial rectus is working when you are looking at the left gaze or left lateral rectus and right medial rectus is working right when you are looking at the up gaze what is working your superior rectus is working both the superior rectus inferior rectus when you are looking at the down gaze now when you are looking at the dextro elevation dextro elevation which are the two muscles working your dextro elevation means right side elevation so right eye your superior rectus and your inferior oblique of the left eye similarly for levo elevation what is happening for levo elevation the left superior rectus and right inferior oblique these two muscles are working okay for dextro depression your right eye inferior rectus and left eye superior oblique for levo depression for levo depression your left inferior rectus and right superior oblique so these are the yoke muscle pairs in this gaze positions which are acting so they work properly to coordinate an eye movement now let me talk about the oblique muscles your superior oblique is situated here so how is the superior oblique working when you are looking in this down gaze okay down gaze in the abducted position so down gaze here is your superior oblique work, working okay so it is causing intorsion it is causing depression and it is causing abduction right so your superior oblique is basically working this way similarly your inferior oblique is basically working that way so these things you have to keep in mind while evaluating the extraocular muscles so in the next video i'll discuss about the part 3 step test what we do in a uh, if there is any cyclovertical muscle palsy so this part 3 step we do so that i'll discuss in my next video so first understand your basics your basics is the key for to learn everything thank you